Saturn took the spotlight in early October when scientists announced three separate findings at a meeting of the American Astronomical Society's Division for Planetary Science. In the first study, a team at the University of Arizona simulated the atmosphere of Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and zapped it with radiation. Out of the haze of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide came a mixture of 20,000 different molecules, including the chemical basis of DNA and two types of amino acids. Because the solar radiation hitting Titan is strong enough to produce these types of reactions, it's possible that the ingredients for life are floating in Titan's atmosphere right now. In the second study, NASA scientists proposed a new model that explains the geysers on Enceladus, another moon of Saturn. Underneath the moon's icy crust, they suggest, lies a circulating ocean of bubbly water. The dissolved gases in the water make it light enough to approach the icy surface, where it eventually erupts. Who knew that Enceladus was similar to a giant seltzer bottle? The final piece of Saturn news focuses on the planet's most iconic feature, its rings. Where did they come from? A scientist from the Southwest Research Institute proposed that a large icy moon crashed into Saturn early in the planet's history. During the moon's descent, tidal forces stripped off its icy layers. The ice particles eventually formed the rings we see today. This hypothesis would explain why the rings consist of more than 90% water ice. These are just three stories that came out of the Astronomical Society meeting. Saturn may be nearly a billion miles away, but its many mysteries continue to fascinate us here on Earth.